To make this concept easy to grasp, consider this depiction in The Secret of the Soul by noted author, teacher, and metaphysician William Buhlman. Imagine a perfect world where your thoughts instantly create any reality you choose. Whatever your heart desires is suddenly made manifest before you. Imagine yourself in an ideal world where everyone is free to explore and develop their creative pursuits and experience their unlimited potential. Does this sound like heaven? Just think what an immature or undisciplined being could or would do in this ideal thought-responsive world. One undisciplined mind would wreak complete havoc, destroying the perfection of the subtle environments. Now, for a moment, imagine what kind of educational environment would be the perfect training ground for this undisciplined mind. What kind of lessons would effectively train this disruptive mind to coexist in the thought-responsive heavenly realms? Welcome to the slowed-down molecular training ground of consciousness. Welcome to the dense training ground of matter, where focused thoughts are required in order to create and prosper. Welcome to the ideal environment where the young and undisciplined mind can learn by trial and error without contaminating the pure realm of spirit. Welcome to your life. Can this be true? Who the hell knows? It certainly is no more outlandish than whichever paradigm most of us presently endorse about why we are here. In any event, just like the beast, this paradigm can help restore your life force as painlessly as possible. Let's go with it for now. You can thank me later. In a nutshell, we humans are relegated to physical existence because we are wholly unqualified to cavort in the outer layers of the multidimensional, thought-responsive spiritual universe. We are in the Bush League, the remedial class. We are the beginners, the trainees, the misfits. Our minds are drunken monkeys. We are constrained by molecular and energetic density, so our errant thoughts don't immediately manifest chaos all around us. We are stuck in the proverbial foam pit of our magnificent multidimensional universe. What does any of this have to do with restoring your life force? In a manner similar to using the metaphor of the beast to explain your inner world and create a coping strategy for your mental shit show, we'll use the concept of being mired in the lowest, densest layer of consciousness to generate a coping strategy for preserving your life force as you engage with your external existence. This is going to be fun. Music